Hello, it's me, Gordon. I probably sound really, really echoey because if I go, echo! Don't think I'm going to pick that up or not. And basically, above me, there used to be a train line a long time ago, and well, I'm basically on it, and there's a sort of river running below me. And I mean right below me, and I'm in a sort of wooden out bit, because apparently it used to be a signal man, I used to walk this way and do stuff. Anyway, people I was speaking on the internet the other day said they wanted me to do out outdoor blogs in different locations, so I thought, <laughs> that echo was really funny. Echo! I thought, I don't know why I've never used this place before, it's like, that is really often half a mile away from my house, and I thought I've never used it before, so anyway, yesterday I, I thought I'd do either, I thought my aim was, to be honest, was either 40 or 50 miles, so I was out and I thought, why not, I'll keep on going and I'll do 60 miles. What do you think is probably the longest one day cycle I've done since I did the end turn cycle, but I haven't looked at all the stats from all the other cycles I've done since then to work it out, but I'm pretty sure it's probably got the most I've done, so today, I'm going to start cycle, so I'm going to do about maybe 30, 40 miles. That still means if in two days I will have done over 100 miles. And this month, so far, I've done 610 miles, which may not sound a lot, but it means it's the most miles I've done in a single month since the interim cycle. We don't include the interim cycle month, but it's the most miles I've ever done in a single month, which isn't bad because it's only the third month of the year. Also means I've now done more miles in three months than I've, I did in the whole 2003 and in the whole 2007. So it's not bad going considering. Anyway, as I say, I'm in my cycling gear. And anyway, since I said I'm in a really sort of like tunnel, I better saw you up to be quite honest. If we sort of pan around, I know what I'll do. Sorry, I'll just try and take the camcord off without dropping in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, that's easier said than done. <laughs> Aha, there we go. Now then, get off. <laughs> I haven't thought of this very well, I was must have bloody well wrapped the cable. A little cable strap there in the tripod stand. But anyway, this is where I am. See, and as I say, the water. Runs all the way below me. Anyway, I hate to say I better get going with this camcorder battery. It's a bit past its best, basically. It said when I set off, it had at least half an hour to film, and what if I've been on for what less than five minutes, and it's already saying it's going to go flat. So anyway, I'll get going now, and yeah, had to be done. I'll speak to you all when I do another one of these random video blogs. Bye.